Hello train lovers, I'm Colonel Failure and you're here watching today Rail World. Yes, yeah, why, why would I do this to myself? Well, I'm doing this to myself so you don't have to. And uh, I'm going to uh, take you through, a, well, probably an hour or so worth of the game and I'll condense that down into, into less than that because you don't want that much. Um, yeah, right, okay, so what is it? Well, it's a mobile phone game, isn't it? And it's, uh, it's on Steam and it's free to play. There you go. If that doesn't send all of your all of your triggers off, I don't know what will. Uh, but it's not without its merits, and I'm going to attempt to paint a rosy picture of the thing, ever so temporarily. Shortly after the bombastic intro. So we're picking up the action here, and I'm about three hours deep into the game, um, because uh, for the first hour at least, uh, Madam over here. She, uh, she likes to just keep flinging stuff at you left, right and centre. Uh, but at the moment, I'm trying to earn uh, more dollars out of my restaurant, because obviously, and, uh, and have more tracks. Now, it's the more tracks bit that is interesting, uh, and it's also very, very expensive. So, uh, so I'm trying to save up enough to get the tracks. I'll show you what that means in a moment. Uh, meanwhile, uh, I rather regret having done that now. Uh, we've con converted a bit more... Uh, a bit more steel into into rails, which unfortunately is nothing I can make use of other than to sell. Uh, so there's my steel up there, which which I kind of need that. Uh, but uh, but there you go, it's not the end of the world. Um, matey boy down here, he wants me to buy some nails. I've produced all the wooden boards he needs, but uh, he wants me to buy some nails. I don't know where I can buy them. Uh, I've clicked around variously, and uh, and there is nowhere to buy them. So if we head out to the uh, to the big worldwide map here. You'll see, well, I say worldwide, Europe-wide, and the UK, given that we don't deserve, deserve to be part of Europe. Um, then, uh, yeah, so we've we've got, this is what my connection is so far. We head out from Poland, we go through Germany. You start out in Germany, because it's a German game. Um, and, uh, and, and you send trains out along the lines with stuff, and they make money. So we'll do that now, and then you can see what that's about. So we'll uh, we'll bring in our uh, our regional passenger service here. Uh, that was the signalling uh, signalling tower there that we uh, that we just interacted with. I'll, I'll, I'll zoom you in on the on the startling graphics. Pretty startling, I think you'll agree. I mean, well, ooh, look at that. So we've unloaded, which means I get to click this, and then we got a nice little timer uh, that's going to uh, that's going to time us uh, for for how long we're prepared to sit here waiting for it to have i'm not gonna i'm not even 10 seconds even starts to feel like an age here's my restaurant where i'm trying to make money so we'll get that rolling this converts 10 passengers 10 passengers into 30 quid all right okay and that's going to take four minutes brilliant uh anyway that that train that just unloaded is cleared off earn me another 10 passengers oh my goodness me it's like uh, it's like some kind of gameplay loop in there how how very how very startlingly clever of them. Um, anyway, we've got I've got two trains in my depot at the moment, and the best thing I can do with them is to send them off to either buy things or sell things. Uh, so because uh, the, these are freight trains, freight is where the uh, where the magic happens. So we're going to go sell these uh, iron steel girders that we uh, did them. Out. Hold on, I didn't tell you what. Uh, okay, let's let's do that again. No, yes, no, thank you. Good, very good. Right, that's you, products, iron girders, sell them. <clears throat> now, the reason I'm selling the girders is they sell for quite a lot more than planks. I've got to repair my train soon, and I really don't want to. It's, it's incredibly expensive. Uh, so your train then moves out, starts to, uh, starts to get loaded. Quite why I've got a bunch of steam trains doing freight runs while I've got some modern diesel electric number uh, doing everything else. That's just a mystery. Um, but it's a mystery that I, I don't care particularly to uh, to unfurl the flag of and uh, get into. Uh, right, so he's all loaded up and ready to rock and roll. So we click the button and go, right, where do you want to go? So we're carrying 15 of those and we can choose any of our, our potential destinations to send him to. And what we're looking for is this bit down the bottom, uh, which will tell me how much cash I'm going to get from that route. Uh, it's not that one, is it? Uh, there we go, 12.15. Slightly more expensive on the fuel, but that's the uh, that's the most profitable route. Now then, in order to do some rails, uh, what you do is you click on a dotted line, and it goes right. You need 60 luggage, and uh, and you need 30 of uh, 
of the uh, of the, the the steel bars, and I kind of go, oh, flipping, flipping, brilliant. Uh, how much do you want? You want even more than that. See, they they all want just well, they, they, they all want taking outside and, and showing what for, frankly. Um, but uh, cheapy little routes, uh, they cost less. Uh, more expensive routes, the ones that hook you up to a city, they're, they're evidently going to cost a little bit more. Um, we're going to take this one, and I'm going to use my last remaining diamond. Yeah, yeah, complete it for diamonds. Diamonds, you say? Oh, how do they work? And I say, well, you must be new here. Uh, because... Uh, Diamonds work in a very straightforward fashion. You buy them with money. Um, hold on, let's uh, clear the train. Train's coming back in. And uh, that's that's super duper. Right. I, I don't even know why I unlocked this one particularly. Maybe they've got something of interest. But well, it certainly isn't uh, certainly isn't steel, which is a pity, because I need to buy some. Uh, what are you selling steel at? 180. But that's definitely not you. Uh, what about you? 117. Hmm. Uh, this is Berlin. 125, oh dear, 117 appears to be the, uh, no, no, I haven't got the money. Uh, 117, 138, oh, flipping heck, it is this guy. Okay, all right, 118. Yes, please, uh, send it out, buy 35. Uh, the reason that we're buying them, well, I mean, we, we then get the choice of either, uh, uh, either something or uh, or something else. So it's going to cost me 3,603, it's going to cost me some money. Um, no, when we've got the steel, we have the choice to either turn it into things that we can then flog to the unsuspecting public, or we uh, we use it to further fuel our expansion. And as you will see, I need one more track to uh, to complete my expansion. Yeah. So uh, so basically, from here on, I've so buy, buy from yeah buy buy from Hamburg. Was that where I was going? It was where you were going. If we look at the price difference here, oh, we could buy it from uh, uh, Shetsin. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing. I'm guessing that's how much it is. Uh, but we could buy it from here for 1700. Why didn't I spot that before? Yeah, you're ridiculously expensive. I think it's because. Hold on, that's only a grand. What? Well, why didn't the why didn't the prices make any sense? I looked at the prices up a moment ago, and it was uh, it was considerably. Um, oh no, go get them from here. No, that's a third the price. Off you go. Go on. Trot on. All right. There you are. So uh, they're off and running. This is inviting me to cut down a forest, which will just cost me money and won't get me anything at the moment. I don't need to place anything in the forest. Uh, up here, we've got me, uh, me, me sawmill, which will chop trees into planks, which I can then go and sell. Uh, you need to be dealt with. Okay. All right. Good. Right. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to go and deploy uh, my credit card and get some more cash. Uh, because that way we won't be hanging around and I'll actually be able to show you something. Right, I bought 220 of your diamonds and apparently it's given me a water tower in my inventory, which is which is absolutely super. Oh, I've got a d golden draisine as well, which is which is wicked. Uh, I don't know what the water tower does. I imagine it's something decorative. So I'm going to just go and plunk this out here, out of harm's way. There you go. I don't... There you go. Ray, water tower. Um, good, right, smashing. So, 220 diamonds. Let's see how fast I can I can burn through that and what we get in exchange. Now then, what's uh, what's uh, what's occurring here? So this, but largely your station only gives you storage capacity. Well, oh no, you can do two trains at once. Cost three thousand two hundred or uh, or ten quid. All right, go on, em, have it. Yeah. Do it. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Uh, same goes for the depot, I reckon. Let's uh, let's bang the money in there and all. Uh, what would that give me? That allows me to have five trains in stock. Peachy. Uh, oh, I've leveled up. I can have an iron warehouse and the fur, which is brilliant. Uh, good. Okay. And then uh, and then the old main warehouse here. What this? What's, what current inventory size is thirty. If I want more than that, what well, what do you know? I do. Yeah, go on, bang it in. Yeah, smashing. I'll tell you what else. We'll finish this quest while I'm about it. Yeah, see, this is this is how you should be playing the game. Just kind of go like, I will buy cheat codes, please. How many would you like to buy? Oh, loads. Uh, let's uh, let's have the expensive route here. That's what, that's going to cost me six. Yep, done. Fine. Hey, I bought Prague to Prague to Berlin. Uh, that's Prague, so it should be Berlin to Prague. Shouldn't it? Because I already had Berlin. Deary me. 
Ah, uh, there you are. Right, what do you what do you need from me? I've got to earn some more dollar in the uh, in the restaurant in order to make it uh, make it scream with delight. Fine. Okay. Well, I can I can wait that out. That's that's no big deal. Uh, let's let's connect up to France. Yeah. Go on. Give me it. Stuttgart to Strasbourg. Marvelous. And because I'm feeling that way inclined, we'll also make our way as far as Parry. Peachy. Okay. Cool. So, well, well, hey, oh, look, hey, see, we've we've expanded yonder network really quite significantly. Let's get back to the uh, get back to the farmstead here. And uh, what do you do? You're the you're the building authority. What does what does it do? Oh, I'm only allowed. That's that determines how many tracks I'm allowed. That's that's not interesting. Uh, the repair shop. What does this do? Uh, costs ba 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 ba. One spanner or two spanners. Hmm. Great. Uh, this is the bank. Upgrade that will allow me to store more cash money. Okay. Yeah. Uh, upgrade this will uh, will give me more recipes to play with. Yeah. Make it happen. Yeah. We need. Uh, we need. We need the money. Honestly. Let's uh, let's get started here. Uh, actually, that it doesn't appear to have done anything useful for me whatsoever. Hey, I'll get working anyway. That's uh, that's lovely. Uh, well, up the steelworks. Yep. I tell you what, I've played other games of this nature, and by this point of random clicking, spending my premium currency, I would have burned through most of it, and I've uh, I've still got the majority of it in stock. Evidently, I am not working hard enough. Uh, yeah, upgrade my sawmill. Oh yeah, it gives me more plank for me buck. Yep, make it happen. I mean, you could at least make it look a little bit more splendid in the process, but, you know, that's okay. Uh, right. I want another train. We've got three things going on at the moment. Let's uh, let's get them in. I ain't got enough space. Ah, well, details. Uh, right, okay, so in comes uh, Felony Lads Muck, uh, Muck Passengers, uh, which is marvellous. And, uh, yeah, 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 go on. Uh, I mean, I can, I can fling a diamond at them in order to... Uh, in order to have the stuff now, which is just cheeky, as uh, <laughs> and that's just like no, I wait. I'm not completely impatient. How do I get more of these tracks unlocked? Because I can only bring in one train at a time here. I can I can only bring in one train at a time over there as well. But I'm less bothered about that. Although I am inclined to buy myself another passenger train, which we'll do by going to the shop, hitting trains. Ooh, what's the Panther 2 good at? Uh, bow charge, steam loco, steam... Uh, that's going to be cargo, isn't it? Uh, like tourist trains. Yeah, we'll buy another one of these. I mean, you know, I'm not really that bothered, but... Uh, oh, yeah, some, I got some quite nice today. See, look, no, 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 these look good. Yeah, I've only got to be level 22. I've sunk three hours in. I'm level 9. And I, and I gained the last level there simply by brute forcing it by spending cash. So... You, to say that there is no content later on is, uh, I mean, that would be, yeah, you'd be incorrect. Uh, yeah, I'll, ooh, five wood and 600 quid. Sure, yeah, I'll pay real money for that one. There you go, you've just given me some uh, some steel nuggets there. And then uh, we'll uh, we'll plot a course with our, with our new train. Hold on, we'll uh, clear the unicorn and clear the new regional. We don't have any vacant unloading slots. Yes, we do. That one just left. I've got an unloading slot available for it right now. Let's go. The fun you've just... I'm going to have to... I mean, I have to set the route up for that one as well. Um, but that's that's fine. I'll, I'll do that in a moment. Right, now then. I've given you a, a, fair, a fair idea of what the caper is here. It's not without its merits. It's, it's close to actually being enjoyable. Close to, cl close to being enjoyable. It would be enjoyable were one able to uh, to actually build all of this from the get go. All of these through lines you've got here, they're uh, they're fixed. You can't do anything about those. Um, that's that's just I mean that's just life. Uh, so you're you're largely stuck with what you've got there. Let's oh, let's get you uh, productionizing. Hold on, what do we? How much do you want to upgrade it again? Upgrade makes even more beams. Yeah, yeah, I can do it. Yeah, well, that'll help me turn my hard currency into soft, worthless currency. Oh, how about again? 32? Now then, I 
I think you're rather making fun of me here, aren't you? Yes, it's going to take seven hours to upgrade. Unless you pay the iron price, of course. No, I'm going to save my remaining 122 bucks because you never know when you might need them. Right, we're bringing in this passenger service and I'm going to need to... Yeah, you see, you've come in on the, uh, on the freight line there, Gov. Is it because I haven't told you what to do with yourself? I rather think it is, isn't it? All right, well, keep going. Um, yeah, what else? What would be good? Having trains coming in and out, and you have to service them through the... Uh, oh, hold on. Upgrade the signaling control. We can have two somethings. Yeah, I want that. Oh, peachy. Uh, I tell you what, I was so pleased with that, I'm going to do it again. Yeah. Go. Excellent. Now, you see, I would I would expect you to have, to have granted me more tracks there. But, uh, so be it. Right, now then, where's, uh, where's Matey Boy? The parallel that I'm going to draw for you here is, uh, uh, is with uh, farming with friends. Now, if you've not, uh, if you've not encountered farming with friends, uh, farming with friends previously, um, it's, it's just, it's a bit like Farmville, right? We, uh, you know, we all were worried about Farmville for a little while. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a bit like Farmville. Uh, except there's no premium currency. There's, there's absolutely none. You plant your crops and uh, and then you, you wait till it's done. And some of those crops go after a minute or two and some of them go after a couple of days. That's fine. Uh, there is plenty to do and you can dip back into it at any time. Basically, it turns into a clicker game uh, where you just keep clicking things and the numbers go up. Well, arguably, that's what you do in every game. Yeah, yeah there you go. You can, be a, you can be a train that goes to Paris. Have fun. Um, clear. That's the other one coming back in, look. Yeah. Ah, rock and roll. Um, yeah, so it's, it in itself is... Uh, it, it's, it's actually quite satisfying. And you can lay out the whole thing yourself and plant whatever crops you like and harvest them and drive around on your little tractor and, and do all of that kind of business. Um... Yeah, it's it's quite it's quite good, bizarrely. This is not that. Um, it uh, requires building level four in order to offer some schnitzel. I I'm all about the schnitzel, Gov. Uh, let's uh, let's do it. Yeah, what's that? I don't know what level that may be. Oh, look, I got a shiny new roof. You are level four. Sell the schnitzel. Boom. Twenty minutes. I haven't got that kind of time. No, I do. where's thy finish it now? Twenty minutes. Who are you? Who are you trying to call? Do oh, uh. all right. Well, look, I need. Bizarrely enough, I need one hundred and seventeen of your rail bucks in order to complete this mission. That will complete in nineteen minutes thirty four seconds. We shall wrap up the video in nineteen minutes thirty four seconds. And depending on whether I'm feeling belligerent or not, uh, I always am. Um, we'll either we'll either wait, and I'll uh, I could I could just leave this running for the next 19 minutes, and uh, and make commentary while uh, while we do that. The alternative, of course, is that I could just edit this bit out. Which is it going to be? Well, it's not going to surprise you because you've already seen the runtime of the video, and it's either 20 minutes from now, or it's uh, it's uh, it, it's not as long as that. All right, I'm not going to spoil it for you. No, no, you're just going to have to you're going to have to wait and see if I'm if I'm going to make you wait throughout the whole thing. I've got 66 magic dollars left. What do we what do we do here? Yeah, let's uh, let's upgrade it some more. Why? You don't need it. It's not like you've got trains that you're just kind of going. Oh, if only I had another six trains, my life would be semi-complete. No, not even not even remotely. Oi, you, what are you up to? Productionize. Thank you. Uh, same goes for you, clown. Uh, productionize. Yeah, good. Uh, what I might spend money on, though, is my current warehouse size is 50. I forever I forever go over the top of that, so we'll, uh, we'll upgrade that pronto. Yeah. And then, uh, and then that'll that'll make life every every bit better for for all. I'm gonna skip forward. You can come back in. Hold on. Where are we? 
17 minutes 50 odd seconds and we'll we'll complete this mission and that'll be a nice kind of wrap up to this kind of introduction to the game yeah well here we go time has passed and uh, it's time to collect the old revenue there so uh, we'll push the button and kaboosh uh, she's happy she's got a green tick next to her have my reward what have we, what have we got 50 stars 50 stars is uh, is going to bump me up quite nicely uh supply the cities build the tracks we've got all of the all of the business give me that marvelous good right now then the, the whole joint is filled with uh with quests galore just everywhere and matey boy mc uh, mustache here has, has got some more onboard some tourist trains unload freight trains and then load trains yeah all right okay i'll do that we've got matey fella here who wants me to buy some nails you want me to transport tourists you want me to send out trains you want me to transport tourists you want me to do this you want me to do that oh it's just give me give me give me all of the damn time and i kind of go like you know what no no i'm not going to i don't i can't be bothered um i've, I've got uh, far more things to be doing while you were while you were away i couldn't stop myself i burned through the rest of me primo cash uh, we've got a wood warehouse going on there. I bought some wood. I sent a few trains. I bought another train. That's exciting, isn't it? Um, we're building some... Yeah, and then over here we're... Uh, yeah, I know we are. Yeah, yeah, we're definitely... Go on, do some of that. Um, so there you go. That's, uh, that's your rail world there. A game that would be improved infinitely were one to scale the, uh, the HUD back to something respectable for a PC, if you're going to do this on PC. Also, I want these clowns and their missions the hell off my screen. Look, they're eating almost a third of the screen size just by going like, here's something I told you four hours ago that you still haven't been able to afford to do. Kind of go, yeah, all right, clear off. Uh, I'll get to it when I can be bothered. Now, what is quite nice is where you've got a bunch of trains coming in at once and they're all unloading and doing their business, even with the timers. But I'll tell you something else, I don't need to see the timer. Stuff the timer. Uh, and then another thing, every timer comes with this flipping diamond sat next to it so you can rush it along if you feel the need to do so. Get it off the screen, it's just ugly. It might work on mobile, my friend, but it's not going to work on PC. Uh, also, you can chop trees down. But uh, you know which trees you can't chop down? These ones. Do you know why? Because it wants to charge you money to chop those down rather than giving you a little bit of the XP and some extra wood for chopping down these. Yeah, and they grow back. That's the that's the one level of uh, of game that has that has lended towards generosity. No, you don't have to you don't have to waste your money. You can uh, you can have these when you when you feel like it. And uh, and what? But once they're gone, then yeah, then that's over. I suspect that is a safety catch for those who have indeed burned all their resources. Providing you've got a sawmill, you are forever able to actually buy your way back into uh, back into something. But uh, I, let me tell you, it's I don't, I'll, I'll just got to click a few more things. Yeah, I'll just I'll just click a few more things. Anyway, I'm in kernel failure. Don't worry, we won't be back for any more. Um, but uh, I've played this, so you don't have to. Uh, but it's uh, it's starting my odyssey of every train game on the face of the planet. We're going to get to them all. Got to got to ride them all. Got to got to bulldoze the lot. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Look. Oh, the the, the feel of, of multiple clicking. Oh, it's uh, it's just it's made me feel alive. Right. I'll be back soon with another one. Thanks for watching. Oh, push a button. Cheerio. Now, you see, I hear what you're saying. I, I mean, you're saying, oh, no, I'm, I'm far too smart to play something like that. It's never, it's never going to work on me. You know? No, 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 no. I'd, I'd bounce off that very quickly. You won't. No, I, t I tell you. It's, um, inside there is a, is, there is a cute, casual uh, station management rail network game waiting to emerge it's just smeared over with all manner of uh, free-to-play gubbins that gets in the way of it being fun um yeah yeah it's and and yet and yet even with all said free-to-play gubbins that's been smeared over the top of it you still can't help yourself but play the flip, flipping thing where it would get fun 
is uh, is if you had, oh, I don't know, let's say 30 or 40 trains in service, and they're all off zipping about and doing things and, and constantly coming back, and you think, all right, where shall I send this this next one? To what end shall I send this next one? Um, that, I can see some fun in that. The problem is that after, oh, I've got, what, three hours sunk, sunk into this now, three hours and 15 quid sunk into it, and... Uh, it still feels like, you know, the scenario I paint there is is either another 50, 60 hours of plodding away or uh, or 40 or 50 quid sunk into it. It's not a 40 or 50 quid game. It's just not worth that. If they charged a fiver up front and got rid of the flipping diamonds and instead made things a reasonable amount of time to turn around, it would be a re- perfectly, perfectly reasonable game that nobody would play because it, it doesn't look good enough. Modern gaming, everybody, in a nutshell, with me, Uncle Colonel Failure, not reviewing games, ever. I don't, re- I don't review games. Um, anyway, yes, as mentioned, this is the first part. This, is, this outro is quite lengthy, isn't it? Uh, this is the first part in an odyssey through games that feature trains. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to try and grab as many of them as possible, give them a quick rinse, and, uh, and see what you think. I'll do them like this. I'll probably make them a little bit more pacey than this. I, I'll let this one get away from me a little bit, but uh, but say la vie. Right, that's it. I'm off. Next time, more. <laughs>